What is up, YouTube? I am The Entertainers, and welcome back. Now, this is a big one. We just got the Joker teaser trailer today, and I've been waiting for that since I have first even heard about this movie. And we're going to do a reaction video and breakdown video for it, and I'm really fucking stoked for this. This trailer is probably going to be the highlight of my day. So, um, enough chit-chat. I'm ready to watch this. Let's get into that. All right, here we go. Joker teaser trailer. First time viewing it. Play. Arthur, does it help to have someone to talk to? My mother always tells me to smile and put on a happy face. Norman Bates vibe. She told me I had a purpose. To bring laughter and joy to the world. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? Though your heart is aching, smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by if you smile. <laughs> to your fear and sorrow, smile. <laughs> What's so funny? Freak! This looks fucking great! Gotham has lost its way. What kind of coward would do something that cold blooded? Someone who hides behind a mask. Man, they may lose a lot of weight for this role. I used to think that my life was a tragedy. But now I realize it's a comedy. Oh my god. Dude, that looks fucking awesome. I think it was a great trailer overall. I love how you know they showed they showed a lot. They they showed enough. You know, they didn't I hate when trailers show way too much of the movie. And they, like they showed way more than I thought they were going to. Like for a teaser, they showed a decent amount. But you know, they didn't give the whole movie away. Like we got the gist of the story. It's about a guy, which you know we already knew. It's about a guy who is isolated by society and is driven mad. And we see how that is. You know, um, Dude's like 40-something years old, lives with his mother, and looks like kind of like a mama's boy, like Norman Bates. And, you know, he works shitty-ass jobs and, you know, lives in Gotham, which Gotham City is, you know, one of the most dangerous fictional cities, is known for its crime. So he's getting involved in that crime by being treated bad like you know we see like the sign getting stolen from him he goes to you know get that back and then gets beat up and mugged and all that and he gets beat up on the train and you know we see how that affects him and dude is probably already like a strange bird to begin with he's already like a little out there not not fully up here 
and every all the bad things happening to him drive him towards that. So it all makes sense why he becomes the way he does. He become why he becomes the Joker. And you know, it's also known that he's a failed comedian, a comedian who is just bad and didn't make it. And that plays a part in it too. And I I love the style for it. You know, it's set in the eighties. I love the music they played in the trailer. You know, we got we got a really dark feel for this. This isn't too superhero-y, which you know, like I love superhero movies. I love the Avengers movies. I I, I love all superhero movies. It just I like that this has more of a serious take on it. And for the Joker, for the Joker, you know, we kind of we we kind of need that for him. We kind of need more because he's just you know he's a human. Just a regular dude. He doesn't have superpowers or anything like that. He's just a crazy, like, serial killer. And I just, I don't know. Part of me is kind of speechless. That trailer just really blew me away. Like, it went beyond my expectations. I was already excited for this movie when the uh, screen test for Joaquin Phoenix came out. And the story, and like Joker is my favorite fictional character of all time. I don't know if you guys can tell that just by how excited I am, and based on my last Gotham video. <laughs> um, but Joker is my all-time favorite fictional character. I've been a Joker fan even before Heath Ledger. Like I was the Jack Nicholson Joker when I was ten years old. Um, but this, holy shit! Like I, I'm just blown away and as far as walking phoenix goes i think he's gonna fucking kill it he he's gonna be a great joker and you know everyone who's hating on it like don't get me wrong like yes heath ledger is if not like one of the best if not the best but walking phoenix like he's you gotta remember yeah he's the joker but we're seeing him become the joker so it's like a different version almost we're seeing how he was before he was ever the joker which is actually interesting i'm curious to see how the joker was before he was the joker how he's just like this strange dude who has a lot a lot of bad luck in his life and how he's driven to become this criminal mastermind it, it definitely has, like, a Scorsese feel to it. Like, you know, this could possibly, like, be an Academy Award nominee. I'm not saying it's going to. It's probably not going to. And, you know, it's not going to ruin, like, my day if it doesn't. But it looks like, you know, it has that potential. And Joaquin Phoenix looks like, I mean, you know, that we can't fully judge till we see the movie, but... Looks like he could possibly be nominated, too, if that happens. I mean, shit. But I like the darker, serious tone and vibe for it. You know, it's like a masterpiece film, almost. It's it's not just a superhero movie or a movie about a supervillain. It's kind of like, you know, the reason why I respect this. So, like, I, I, I know a lot of people are like, the thing about the Joker is that we don't know his backstory. So, why are we getting this? Like, you know, I get that. But at the same time, I've always been curious. I'm like, I want to see the Joker before he was the Joker. And the way we have that is the killing joke. This is what this movie's kind of based off of, is the Batman, the killing joke story. And where I was going with that was, is that I'm, I'm curious for backstories and, you know, character development. That's why I really like the Rob Zombie Halloween movie. The first one, not this, not the sequel. The first one. I think the first one was a well-told story, and it shows how Michael Myers became Michael Myers, why he is the way he is, and it all makes sense. And it's kind of the same thing with this. So I'm very interested to see. I have high hopes for this. I think the movie is going to be how the trailer represents it. Like, you know, sometimes trailers will give you the wrong idea they'll kind of give you false information and in advertisement like suicide squad for instance turned out to be a way different movie than the trailers represented um but this i don't think they're going to do this you know when i heard scorsese was 
supposed to – he's not producing anymore, but he was supposed to. Like, if he's going to produce, you already know it's going to be, like, a legit script and screenplay and story. And he's not anymore, but still has that feel. We're going to get a very dark and serious movie, and I'm just excited to see where this is going to go. I'm going to see this, like, its very first showing – when that comes out and I hate that to wait all the way for October, but overall great trailer. Um, I have nothing bad to say about this. Not at all. It actually went beyond my expectations. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the trailer. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. Please like, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.